Howdy, folks. How's the volume? How's it going, Kirby? I'll take it. And well enough. people pile in. Is that a common issue? Gotcha. Hmm. Just one more. Oh, great. Battery low. Brilliant. should be good to go. Alright, that's moving. Auto save, yes.
and in their homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that has banished the island groups. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham is the most eligible bachelor is spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Knowing that tonight we put to rest one of Gotham's most heinous and relentless killers, Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Logue, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Logue! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 6-4, on route. Dispatch 5-9. Confirm Code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat, Commissioner Loeb is 701. Commissioner Lowe before it's too late. Okay. And we're off. Is that Chris Redfield? The voice actor for Bruce now. It sounds like Robert Craig, the voice of Chris Redfield. Thing is, you ain't gonna live to find out. Black mask can't leave no loose ends like What are you waiting for? If you're gonna do it, get it over with. Hey, it's not every day you get to kill a warden. I'm gonna enjoy myself. No, please, not a girl! Oh, oh, I'll kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. Hey, what is that? hey, you. Behind you. Oh, come on. With the I'm face. I mean, try something original. <laughs> How you doing? You are. No, stay away. Now, let's let's be simple. Don't, Fine. Don't hurt me. Oh, oh, I heard the rumors, but you you're, you're not supposed to be real. Who tore this place apart? I don't know what it is. It's huge. Where is Black Mask? I I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Lowe. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to... I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. Yeah, that's... that's Chris Redfield. God damn it. Oh, great files. Am I... am I doing this? reading these. Let's see how it goes. Yes, yes, Bruce Wayne, Vigilante, Gotham. Six foot two, two hundred pounds. Wanted for questioning, is that, is that all he's wanted for? Because, I mean, I'm assuming there has been copious amounts of property damage. Widespread skepticism, yeah, yeah. Is he one man or many? 
Suspect is believed to be responsible for multiple assaults against both criminals and law enforcement officials. Identity of suspect currently unknown may be a single individual or multiple individuals working together. Conflicting reports suspect or conflicting reports of suspect physiology range from dark specter to large winged creature. Lack of photographic and forensic evidence makes it difficult to confirm or refute these claims. First sighting reported nearly two years ago, though frequency has recently increased. Multiple reports of suspect employing custom-built armored vehicle and unlicensed low-flying aircraft. Warning. Considered armed and extremely dangerous. Approach with extreme caution. Multiple outstanding warrants. For jaywalking. Additional. Immediately notify desk officer and vigilante task force if suspect is cited or evidence obtained. They have a vigilante task force. All right, well, I guess it's been two years. Who else we got? There's one for Bruce as well. Sure. Yes, yes, we know this. Philanthropist and playboy. Private man rarely discusses personal topics. Thomas and Martha Wayne were gunned down in an alley outside of the Monarch Theater when Bruce Wayne was just a boy. He was raised by the Wayne family butler, Alfred Pennyworth, but disappeared in his late teens for several years. Upon his return to Gotham two years ago, sole surviving Wayne made an impression on the city with his philanthropy, as well as his aggressive reluctance to discuss exactly where he was or what he was doing or doing during his time away. All reports indicate Wayne Industries and Wayne himself are inscrutable. But someone with this much power and influence should be watched closely. Hey, Alfred, how you doing? Butler, formerly black, six foot, 170. Yes, yes. Alfred claims to have been an accomplished actor before he signed on to be the Wayne family butler. But records hint at a history of military intelligence. Being an actor could have been a cover, or acting could just be a very useful skill for an intelligence officer to have. For Alfred's part, he's not offering up details, but his extensive medical knowledge suggests he's more than a common thespian. Alfred is still having trouble accepting the reality of Bruce Wayne's double life and continues to push Bruce to give up his crusade for more mundane pursuits. Superman is an asshole. Black man. Roman Sionis. Sionis Sionis, I'm not sure which. We'll find out later, I'm assuming. Crime Lord. That's an occupation. Largest organized crime or, or operation in Gotham. Well, yeah, I mean. Most members are also employees of Sionis as legitimate businesses. Do the cops know this? Because if they do, it sounds pretty easy to get something on them makes extensive use of torture techniques to satisfy his sadistic appetites. Cute. Sionis is one of Gotham's most powerful crime lords, though thus far he has managed to avoid conviction. He maintains several legitimate businesses, though many are believed to be fronts for illegal operations. Notable businesses in his portfolio include Yanis Cosmetics, Gotham Merchants Bank, and the now defunct Sionis Steelworks. Sionis has been charged with embezzling city funds, murder, racketeering, distribution of illegal narcotics and other offenses, but never convicted. Witnesses for the prosecution have been known to recant, die, or disappear. He owns half of the police officers in Gotham, along with several judges and city councilors. Those he can't buy, he intimidates with torture or eliminates. Commissioner Loeb. Five seven two ten. It's pretty short. Slick, deeply corrupt police commissioner. Great. He's one of those. Politically untouchable. We'll see. Connections to major crimes or families. Mm. 
as much politician as policeman, Galian Loeb is a blight on Gotham. He runs the city like a criminal kingpin, and the police under his command are used as his personal enforcers. He is particularly close with Lieutenant Brandon and his shoot-first SWAT teams. Under Loeb's watch, the city has experienced relative peace between the various crime families or families, this peace that has allowed them to, to exploit and extort the citizens who live and work on their turf. As long as Loeb remains in power, so too will the kingpins. Warden Joseph. Martin Joseph. Well, yeah. Rumored to be more concerned with politics. Family man, no known associates. That makes him easier to manipulate. Career prison administrator. It's a horrible career. Though Joseph has a degree in criminology and spent a short time in police administration, he has never worked a beat or done time as a prison guard. He was hired because of his administrative abilities and tasked with finding ways to increase prison profitability. While he has experienced some degree of success, it has come at a cost. The number of inmates has ballooned while maintenance expenditures have been, at, er, have been cut, causing the facility to fall short and, or to fall into disrepair and disrepute. There are more and more guards on the payroll, a black mask in the penguin, and the prison has become a haven for criminals and criminal activity. It should be noted that Joseph himself does not appear to have any criminal ties. He's simply trying to do the job he was hired to do. Finally. Now. Bit of background. I have played the first two games fairly extensively. So this isn't exactly new territory to me. like he just broke that guy's neck. That that doesn't seem like a n no. It's not that was that was not good. Please remain calm and relay information on the whereabouts of police commissioner Loeb to security and GCPD personnel. High storm party. Calendar killer execution to proceed. Cipher. A drone. That doesn't belong here. Wonder who's controlling it. Inmate rules. Obey all verbal and written instructions. Violence of any kind will not be tolerated. Uniforms must be worn. Subject to being searched. Do not tamper with 
recover security devices. Gang membership activity and displays are entirely allowed. Armory, that's not good. Well, hi. How you doing? So I can no longer ground take down right off the bat. I don't have time to waste. I should use my grapple gun to get over this gate. Yes, thank you. See you, chums. Guess I'm looking at it. Where's your... Um... Vicky. What the hell is going on here? What is this nonsense? Let's, uh, let's try that. Okay. That was weird. Sure. Veil's stories often attack corrupt officials head-on. That is, when she can get her or get the stories by her editor. While a noble sentiment, the people she targets don't take kindly to being thrust into the public eye. She could find herself in trouble if she doesn't find a more subtle way to do her job. Still, it's admirable to see a journalist unafraid to expose the truth in a city defined by corruption and lies. Gotham needs more people like her. There are no Riddler trophies in this, are there? I hope not. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I just know the second I find them, it's I'm going to be doing nothing but finding them. You don't stand a chance on your own. You 
out of stick together. Clear out the guards, and then make a break for us. He ain't going alone. I'm going with him. What the hell you mean? I didn't sign up for getting my ass kicked. Hey! Put us back in our cells! Child's play. Hey, hey, open the door. Fine. Him is weak. If I can find a way in behind it, I can take him down safely. Looks like I scared him off. That's not even. Okay, now I guess that counts. They accounted for that good. You were saying. Throw to it once. God damn it. But I'm double tapping. Final spam it. That. That's probably Croc. You're about to let him out. You're about to let him out. Great. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? So does Sionis. Things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it! After all I've done for you! And that's how Commissioner Gordon got his job. Oh. I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer. 